What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. So today I wanna to talk about rejection, right? Cause I feel like it's a topic I can harp on for ages and ages because it's the number one thing that's stopping guys from having the life they want. Again, it's not about just dating, it's about everything in life. So many people are hindered by the fear of rejection that they actually never go out and do what they will go out and meant to do. And that's a problem because when you don't do those things, you end up living a very small life. Now, anyways, before we jump into the topic, I want to talk to the guys who are new to the channel. Welcome. Welcome to Fearless Man. We're a dating company and we deal with dating, but we also deal with aspects of tension, grounding, being a container for yourself, living the best life or becoming the best version of yourself. Because the truth is the way getting better with women works is the same way getting better with life works or getting better with business or getting better with with everything that it is, that passion that you have, it's all the same process. You have to go through the rejection process. You have to step into tension. You have to learn how to ground that tension out. You have to learn how to continue to push forward and hold a contained space for yourself. Now, let's talk about what we're here to talk about, right? We're here to talk about rejection and dating specifically. Let's talk about rejection and why it's such a powerful tool. Now, if you have self-image issues, meaning that you have a negative outlook on yourself. Let's say you think you're a loser. You think that you're not good enough. You don't think you're attractive. You think you're ugly. You think you're fat. You think you don't have enough money. And all these stories are coming up for you. Approaching or getting in front of a girl and getting rejected is going to trigger everything that you feel about yourself, right? So that means as you're getting rejected, it means that this girl is literally validating all the negative beliefs you have about yourself. She rejected me because I'm ugly. She rejected me because I'm fat or now I really feel ugly and I really feel fat or I really feel unattractive because this girl rejected me. See, I told you guys I was unattractive, right? We have that mentality sometimes. But here's the beauty in the rejection itself. It exposes you to what you really feel inside about yourself. Because here's the thing, on the contrary, the same thing is true. If you felt attractive or you felt like a sexy bass or a sexy beast and a girl complimented you or a girl gave you the time of day or she gave you a phone number, you would feel powerful. You would validate that part of you that actually feels like that, right? And you'd feel like you feel like that even more. So what it really comes down to is there needs to be a shift in your self-image. And Brian just did a video on self-image this week, so go back and watch it. I'll talk about it a little bit at the end of the video, so stay tuned. But your self-image is your everything. Now, Brian likes to call it weeding the garden. What does that mean? Well, it means looking at those parts of you that you don't like to look at because they're stories that you have about yourself. They're not true. They're just stories, right? You, you develop them somewhere along the way, right? Somewhere as a kid, you took all this information in about yourself and you thought that was, to be, you thought that was, you thought that was true. And then that's how you're showing up in the world, still believing that, that that's true. And it isn't because you can see fat guys, bald guys, out of shape guys, ugly guys walking around with some stunners of women. And I see it all the time. And it's not because they have money, it's because they're confident, right? They don't let that stuff get to them. And this is what this is all about, weed in the garden, bringing up your insecurities so that you can look at them, but also put yourself in the tension of it in order to change it. Because the repetition of going out and confronting the dark negative beliefs you have about yourself actually makes those beliefs go away because of the experiences that you start to have as a result. Now, I used to think I was ugly. I used to think I was fat out of shape. Sure, I've still got a gut, <laughs> and I know that's true, but here's the truth. I got more women when I was out of shape than I did when I was in shape. And so I know for a fact that that story isn't true. And again, I say that to say this, the repetition over time and the experiences that I've had in approaching of women validating the story that I have about myself about actually don't need to be in shape in order to get a girl empowers it even more so i don't rely on the stories anymore and that's what i want you guys to start to learn that it's not about how you look it's not about your race it is not it's not because you're indian it's not because you're asian it's not because you're white it's not because you're black nothing to do with any of that it doesn't nothing to do with the money that you have it's about how you feel about yourself and that's what's making the rejection hurt so bad so as you guys go out and start to become better approachers or just go out and start to approach, period. Start to change the way you look at rejection. It's a beautiful tool because the more rejection you go through, the less personal you start taking it over time. And the less personal you stop taking it over time, you'll start to see right away that, oh, 
women actually like a guy who can handle rejection. Not only that, but women reject men almost very automated. And it's not because they don't like them because they don't really know them yet. And it's a part of the mating process. And I notice as I get better with rejection that a girl might say like, oh, I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. And then you don't take it personal and you keep chatting with her, you keep saying open. She starts coming around, she starts leaning in a little bit more, asking you questions about you, you know, curiosity about you, questions of interest. And then all of a sudden, five minutes later, she's seeing a guy, but it's not really that serious. Or she really didn't have a boyfriend and she's giving you her number. Dude, it happens all the time. But I want you guys to have that experience so that you guys can see that. I talked to a lot of guys, I talked to a lot of you guys on the phone. And I can tell a lot of you guys don't have that experience because your belief system about approaching is still very much that women don't like me, I'm gonna get rejected, I'm gonna get hurt. Look, at, remember, it's supposed to be fun, right? And the quicker you can learn how to not take it personal, which is going out, getting rejected, watching what it triggers inside of you emotionally, the stories that you have about yourself, and then being able to go out and continue approaching so that you can start having experiences that validate the other side of that, which is the opposite belief, right? Which is actually that you are attractive, that you are enough, that you don't need money, or that you don't need to look a certain way, or that you don't need to be six foot tall and with a chiseled chest and muscular arms, or whatever the case, right? The more experiences you have of that, you'll start to be like, oh, okay, this is actually the truth of it now, because this actually happens more than what I used to think would happen happens. And both stories can't exist at the same time, right? So you gotta go out and have those experiences so it starts to break up the negative self beliefs about yourself. So I hope you guys understand that. If not, drop a comment in the comment section below. Let's hop on a call, let's talk. I wanna get you guys out of your confusion about it. So you guys can actually go out and start enjoying approaching, but also just enjoying a better life with women, man. It's not supposed to be hard. It's not supposed to be painful. It's supposed to be fun, light, easy, okay? And once you guys get to that point, you guys are never gonna to wanna to go back to the way you were doing it, all right? Now go back and watch Brian's video titled, How to Handle Rejection and Use It to Succeed with Women because he talks a lot in there about what we talked in this video, a little more detail and elaborate. And he's got a lot of points in there that are really hit home for you guys if you guys wanna learn more about the topic. Anyways, guys, wanted to go ahead and share that with you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.